Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about our plugin Git Pre-Order for WooCommerce. And in particular, we're going to learn how we can automatically enable the pre-order mode in out-of-stock products. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now let's start! Ok guys, once you have installed and activated the plugin, from the General Options tab, you will have the possibility of automatically enabling the pre-order mode for out-of-stock products. We can find this option right over here. So if we enable it, then we will find below an additional option to decide on which products to enable the pre-order mode, either in all out-of-stock products or only on a specific out-of-stock products or categories. Then, if we go ahead and select this option, so only for specific out-of-stock products and categories, we will have below these two additional fields to choose specifically on which products or categories to enable the pre-order mode. For example, we could enter here, let's say, our clothing category. So, all that we need to do is select it, and of course, we need to save the options, so, as simple as that, we have now enabled the option to automatically set the pre-order mode on all products of the clothing category when they are out of stock. Now, to see an example of how this feature works, let's go ahead and open one of our products of the clothing category. Over here, I have opened this product, the long sleeve tee, and if we notice, we can confirm that it does belong to the clothing category. Also, if we go over now to the inventory, at the moment, we can see how the product is still in stock. So if we take a look at the product from the front end, we will find that, as usual, the product is showing the Add to Cart button. But let's say that the product becomes out of stock. In this case, let's go back to the product so we can update it. Here, we will simply change the stock. So we're going to open and select the Out of Stock option. And now we update the product. Perfect. And now if we go back to the front end, here, when we refresh the page, we can see how the Add to Cart button has disappeared and instead it has been replaced with this Pre-order Now button. So, just like configured, as soon as the product was set to Out of Stock, the plugin has automatically switched it to the Pre-order mode. Well guys, that was it for today's video, but stay tuned as we will continue to share more videos on how to manage our plugin Git Pre-order for WooCommerce. So, I will see you next time, bye bye!